Hey, I'm the Sheriff Scottish Guy, and welcome back to Resident Evil 4. Hunnigan, what happened? The transmission got cut off. <laughs> Salazar. Salazar. How'd you... Leave Jack the line. We didn't want you telling everyone any unnecessary information. Where's Ashley? Ah, oh, so she fell into one of our wonderful yeah, traps. We'll make sure we find her. Don't you worry about her. Oh, yes. I let our miserable insects out for some exercise down in the sewer. Thanks. That should keep me company, because boredom kills Lovely. me. Insects. I look forward to our next encounter. In another life. I can't actually remember what these are going to be like. And an ammo and a grenade. Flash grenade that's probably going to be useful against these insects. Wait, is that going behind me or in front of me? That was not fun sounds. I'm skilled. Ooh, treasure. This looks like a trap. So far, nothing's attacking me. I'm getting ready to shit myself any second now. Wait, I can see it. See that thing there? That's one of them. Since we've got a shot from such a distance away, I might as well use my pistol. Oh, I can see you! Can't catch me off guard. Still out of sight. Come on. It's almost back in view. It's right there. Hello. Got it. Nice. And I think I used a lot more than that ammo on it. Sneaky look around the corner before actually going around it, just in case. I can't see one from here. More handgun ammo, good. Definitely one in the water, but I don't know if this came out of the water. Doesn't look like it. Can it come out of the water? Oh look, there it is. Oh. There's two. Good. Got them both in one shot with a shotgun. And the music stopped, which means there aren't any for at least another moment or two. Where's my handgun ammo? <sighs> okay, that was good. Didn't take any risks with that.
but you just know there's going to be a lot more. Ah, uh, this bit's quite open, this isn't good. Oh, hi. Fancy trying that again? Thanks. And again? You're not as scary as I first thought you were going to be. Where is it? Oh shit! <laughs> uh, that was well done. I, oh, I thought that was the dead one. Excuse me, I want this to be nice. Still going. Where is it? Come on. I can hear it running. A little bit dodgy when you can't see or hear it. Well, you, when you can only hear it, but you can't see it. Ah, I see it. Gonna have to try harder than that. Now, I wonder if any of these eyes go into the elegant headdress. Save at least one of them just in case that they're on. This door's too rusty, one bunch of okay, cool. Same with this one? Nope. Okay, nice. Oh, yellow herb. I love yellow herbs. And more shotgun shells for me. Louis Memo. There are some parasites that have the ability to control their hosts. It's basic knowledge among biologists, but not much is known as to how parasites do it. Studying these parasites specifically might reveal some clues as to how the powers of Las Plagas work, and perhaps provides more insight on the victims of the Las Plagas. The Los Ganados. Los Ganados. Here is a list of some parasites that have the ability to manipulate the behavioural patterns of their host. Dicrocelium. Once the larvae of this parasite migrates to the ant's esophagus, it alters the behaviour of the ant. When the temperature drops in the evening, the infected ant climbs up to the top of a plant and clamps onto a leaf using its mandible. Well, I know about this. It stays there immobile until the next morning, placing the ant where it is most vulnerable to be eaten by browsing herbivores such as sheep. One could conclude that the parasite is manipulating the host's behaviour to make its way to, into the body of its definitive host. Galactosomum. The larvae of this parasite makes its home inside the brain of a fish such as a yellowtail and a parrot bass. Once infected, the fish make their way up the water surface until they swim. Sorry, where they'll swim until eaten by seabirds. Once again, this peculiar behaviour can only be explained by the parasite's desire to get into the bodies of the seabirds. Leucochloridium. The parasite's sporocysts develop in the snail's tentacles. The sporocysts are vivid in colour and pulsate continue and somewhat, somewhat like a worm. Oh, I know this one too. Surprisingly, the infected snail makes its way to the top of a plant where it's more visible to the eyes of the birds, therefore more likely to be eaten. Once eaten by a bird, the parasite will complete its metamorphosis into an adult. And then do stuff to continue its cycle for further generations. You know, biology. This door's too rusty and won't budge. What about this one? Yeah. Right, this seems to be the way I'm going, so I'm gonna go try and see what's down in that walk, that drop across here. There's gotta be. Oh, I need to drain the water and then I'll come back here. Okay. I get you. So, how long till the next one jumps out of me? I'm guessing about five seconds. Once I'm through here. 
Oh, maybe not. Ooh, treasure! Ooh, the butterfly map. I wonder if this takes that in the cat's eyes. It does! So I'll take a green one, I'm guessing a yellow one, and probably a red one or something like that. Things I want and need. Right, yeah, I might use my rifle for a bit, since I've got so much of it. Oh yeah, forget that. There's like lag every time I reload with this. I don't know why. It's not as if it's taxing. Ah, I can't just go this way. Then. Oh, hello. God damn it. Stay down, if you know what's best for you. Okay, so this is the downside to using the rifle. I need to get proper clothes to actually use it. Oh, well, not proper clothes. I need to have time to use it. Oh, red eye. Just what I need. Now I just need one more. And I kind of need to stop being stupid around things that can move fast and turn invisible. And we're going to drop down here again, I'm guessing. Oh, look, there it is. I thought it was up on the roof there. We need some advantage to reload. Fun. Let's have some fun myself. Oh, that one's on the roof. They're a lot harder to deal with when there's two of them. But still manageable. Okay, looks like we can use the handgun again. I don't know why, I just kind of knew that that was going to be behind me. Uh, I'm starting to run out of shotgun ammo. What is that noise? Oh god, swinging axes. Okay, sorry, I know where they are. Those little markings on the ground very much help you tell where they are and make it easy to get past them. Let's see, where am I? stuff here. Except shot I'm not getting any shotgun shells. 
Ooh. What have I done? Okay, this is going to be in the next episode. Thanks for watching, guys. If you like what you've seen, like and subscribe. Leave a comment down below. Let me know how I'm doing. My Facebook and Twitter are in the description. And I hope to see you in the next episode.